This tutorial demonstrates how to create masks that hide features outside of your area of interest. First, choose the layer on which to base the mask and make it the working layer. Use the selection tools to choose the features in your area of interest. Then choose Tools, Reports, Mask. Freehand masks can be created from an area layer and are extremely fast to create. Because the freehand mask hides everything outside the selection area, including labels, you may need to move some of the labels with the Custom Labels tool. For example, you can see that the Albany and New York labels are cut off slightly by the mask, so I'll move these to spots where they'll be more visible. To remove a freehand mask, right-click on it and choose Delete. You can also create layer masks. Layer masks take longer to create, but do not obscure labels and can be created from point, line, or area layers. Again, choose Tools, Reports, Mask. This time choose the Layer Mask option and click OK. Type a file name for the new mask layer and click Save. New selection sets are created on the other layers to ensure that they are hidden. Maptitude prompts you to choose whether you first want to save the map without the new selection sets. In this case, I'll click No. Maptitude builds the mask layer and adds it to the map. And if I restore the labels that I moved earlier for the freehand mask to their default locations, you will see that they are not obscured by the mask. And that wraps up this tutorial on creating masks in Maptitude.